Everybody gets a car. There's a jungle out there, and the heart is on. There's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. Boom, Nala's out. Crying Nala's out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. There's a jungle out there. Everyone, and welcome back to the Oprah Allen Show. And today I have with me some fun sisters, the good sisters, Laura and Lori. And they are the daughters of the late Loretta Good. They are twins. Similar in looks, they are fraternal twins, but different in so many ways. So, everyone, welcome Laura and Lori. Hey guys, I am Laura from West Morins. I'm 25 years old. I'm the daughter of the late Loretta Good. My mother died when I was about 17 years old. Um, and we're quite different. I love her, though, but we're quite different. I aspire to be great. I have 2 million followers on Instagram and I'm always active. So follow me at Glam Loras, no underscore. Um, can you guys add my username somewhere in here? Okay, sure. My sister, Lori, however. Hey guys, I'm Lori. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a mother and then I'm a wife. But above all, I'm a believer. Um, most of you may already know my sister, Laura. She is what she is. But I love her anyways. Mostly because I have to. Hey ladies! We are live on the Oprah Allen Show and today we will be unpacking some similarities and differences between you two. The objective is to help you feel closer to your mom and it will help keep her spirit alive based on the things that you do on your everything, everyday lives and the traits you inherited from her. So, are you guys excited about today? Hi, I'm so happy to be here today. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. My first question goes out to Law. How was your relationship with your mother like? Well, I felt like she never understood or even listened to me. She wanted me to be a housewife. Oh, interesting. So do you feel as if you were silent or silenced? I won't say silenced, but she believed in a more traditional lifestyle. However, I don't cook, I don't clean, I don't plant because I get money pennies ever so often. But now that I've said it, maybe I was silenced. Interesting. And Laurie, how do you feel when you hear your sister saying this? Because I've noticed you've been making some peculiar faces over there. Well, first to begin, silenced. That was news for me. Well, how is it? Is this the first time you're hearing this? Well, um, I don't think it was her being silenced, you know. Nobody silenced her. It was more of her choosing to be silent over and over again, you know, because she was never there. She never, she was never involved, never offered mommy any help, you know, she didn't offer to cook, to clean, nothing. I mean, you hear it for yourself, the whole country here. You know, you understand? <laughs> you were her favorite anyway. You wanted to do all those things. Now look at you, just like mommy. Okay, okay. Well, Law, let me talk to your sister a bit. Laurie, do you think that your mother, you, do you think you're like your mother? And how do you feel when Law says this about you? Well, my mother was simply the best person I knew. She taught us how to do things that we needed to do to survive, you know, how to cook, wash, clean, you know, how to keep a house in the best condition possible because, you know, you never know when some family or, or somebody, anybody could just stop by randomly. And the yard must always be looking nice and pretty. Nice hibiscus and bug and pillars and thing, you know. She was the best mother. And I really try my hardest to be like her with my own kids. Wow, that's so sweet. Lauren, what about you? In what ways are you like your mother? Would you say you're like your mother? Well, though we were quite different, I did actually get my alluring melanin from my mother. If it was one thing I admired about her, was her beautiful yellow-brown skin. 
every night she would massage her skin in coconut oil and then she would do hours. She would even put it in our hair sometimes. And oh, she had a good fashion sense. That manager, she kept in her drawers. Even though it was, uh, wasn't my um, cup of tea, it was still stylish for the era. Ah, and I can't forget, she loved tea. She said tea healed everything. I had a belly ache, she said drink tea. Back ache, drink tea. Headache, drink tea. She would go right in the garden and pick bush. I'm sure Lori could name them. But I like Starbucks too, because I can't make tea to save my life. But when I go by Lori, she makes me bush tea. Love you, sis. Oh my gosh, you see, I know there was some love there. I knew it. Now, all siblings have their differences. I myself could relate. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like I hate my siblings so much. But, you know, at the end of the day, I will always love them. But what I love about y'all is that you have childhood memories that you can connect with each other with. And in turn, it makes you feel closer to your mom in a way because you both have a little of her in you guys and she worked so hard to help you bloom into the powerful young woman that you are today now i have another question for you ladies how was the way you grew up at home influence the way you live your life today laurie you want to go first well for me i loved absolutely everything about our childhood and the way that our mom raised us you know and to an extent, I always knew that I wanted my future to look, if not exactly like that, at least as close as possible. So every day I would wake up at 5.30 a.m. And I would send my husband to work. And then I would start prepping breakfast and lunch for my kids, get them ready for school and drop them off. And then I would come home and do some laundry, tend to my house and cook again for when they will come back home. I get that this life is not for everybody, but when I randomly get a smell of my fingers and there's that scent of onions, I stop just for a moment and I feel like, I feel like doing, I feel like I feel and I, I feel like if she's right there with me, you know, like when I do things on my own, in my own home, that I saw her doing when we were kids, I feel closer to her. Mm -hmm. Almost as if she's right over my shoulders saying, Laurie, you miss a spot on the pot. Or Laurie, don't forget to pick up the kids there. Eh? Or Laurie, darling, that chicken will not serve you. You know, and for me, it seems like that. It makes living in a world without her just a bit more bearable. Wow. And Lo, what would you have to say in response to my prior question? Well, we had a great childhood, you know. Mother took, she took great care of us. And I feel like I expressed that same care towards my nieces and nephews. Because I don't have a family of my own, like Lori as I am a full-time social media influencer and businesswoman. And she had great strength. That is something I carried throughout my childhood. It made me the woman that I am today. And as you can see, I have a great fashion sense. As, as we continue to grow, you know, she lives within us and we miss her daily. Well, ladies, that was so beautiful to hear your both of you guys and how you feel to live through your mother. And you know that it may not always be a bed of roses, and we, we know that, but we will get into the nitty gritty in our next episode because we are out of time for today. But we'll see you guys next week where we get more in depth at it. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me on my show. And thanks to the audience for being here with me. We will see you guys next week on the Oprah Allen Show. Bye, everyone. On next week's episode...
you know there was this one time she said lord you should be more like your sister lori and that really hurt my feelings <laughs> the conversation about the color of my skin was brought up what who is having those conversations 